Hey there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. On this video, let's get started on how to get a WhatsApp API tutorial for Twilio. Now, this is going to be a Twilio landing pages. Just log in using your Domi Google account. And you need to have a verified active phone number to get started for this one. It's a really, really strict process. Well, anyway, this is going to be the landing page right here. And in here, you're going to see it's going to be colored white, right? I tried using and looking for a black theme, but they don't have it right there. Well, step one, let's get started. You need to get your phone number. So this is going to be my total phone number. I can just use this one. And as you can see right there, I'm currently using a trial account and can only send messages and make calls to verified phone numbers. So basically for this one, this is going to be a trial account on my end. And this is going to be my telephone number that I'm going to set aside for now. And I'm going to explore on the left side right here, the dashboard. I have two sections. I have develop and monitor. In develop right here, I can simply click on explore products. It will open up a new tab. And in here, what I've noticed about Twilio is the user interface is quite slow. Well, anyway, for the explore products, we have messaging. In here, you're going to see WhatsApp right there. MS and SMS. You also have voice, make, receive, and control calls using code, video, email, notify, chat, notifications, conversations, proxy, conversational intelligence. You also have super network, and actually, you really have a lot of things going on here. Now, these are going to be all the products inside Twilio as of now. You'll notice each of the products have a pin icon. That's currently unpinned on my taskbar or sidebar. If I unpin this one, it will now remove it on the sidebar. You'll notice there's going to be a drop-down icon on some of them. You can choose United States or Ireland, depending on their regions, on their availability. Now let's try going on the conversations right there. I'm going to click on it and enter the conversation messaging feature inside Twilio. Now in here, you're going to see there are going to be three sections. Summary, code samples, which is going to be composing of voice SMS, SMS forwarding, SMS or response, all the way down to voice recording with follow-up text. That's really good, right? Imagine you're utilizing this one to its full extent with your language on your coding, Python, JavaScript, PHP, .NET, Ruby, and Swift. Now, of course, before trying and proceeding on WhatsApp, there is going to be a cost on each feature here. So I discussed this one in my previous videos, but anyway, this is gonna be the cost of messaging. So for now, there can be a 30 day free trial for this one. You can send and receive messages in the United States and any of these countries. Now let's check the pricing. So for MMS and SMS, these are gonna be the prices. Inbound, long codes, tall, free, short codes, here you have it. You can also start for free as promised or download the SMS prices as a CSV file. Now, these are going to be the automatic SMS volume discounts moving forward. The short code volume pricing is going to be this one. And the features, of course, are going to be on the carrier face as well. Toll free in here, short code right there. And actually, they're very, very organized and specific on how much they charge on each carrier on its short code on each toll free applications out there. They do not generalize here. That's what I like about them. Though they're getting quite expensive though. So going back on messaging right here, let's try WhatsApp. Now, by clicking that one, it will open up the WhatsApp feature and this will be prompted up. Just acknowledge and confirm to proceed on this one. And as I said earlier, Twilio is quite slow on their user interface. Well, anyway, this is going to be the WhatsApp application that's integrated inside Twilio. It's going to be on sandbox settings right there. You can check when a message comes in, method where you'll post it or get it. Part two, status callback URL. Now, going back in here, there's going to be, I think, four steps. You need to connect to sandbox, business initiated messages, user initiated conversations, and basically wrap it up. So to connect the WhatsApp sandbox, you need to open the WhatsApp right here or scan the QR code on your mobile. So in here, you're going to have two options, right? You can either open it up on the website itself, like this one right here, and basically 
scan it up using the QR code. So let me just use my phone number here, or basically just use a scan QR code there. So welcome back to the video. I have successfully connected it. Just scanned it using the QR code and basically click the message prompted on the screen. And it will automatically redirect me on this one. It will leave the first step right there and go to business initiated messages. So what's in here? You have your to line, your from line, the content plate, and the code right there. Now, for example, you're satisfied what you have here. I'm going to go for default. I'm going to send some message right now. Wait for it to load up. And it's currently now testing. As you can see, it said congratulations and testing a WhatsApp messaging process. And for this one, let's check if it's going to be here. Give it a few seconds to load up. And there we have it. I can see on my phone right now. I'm just going to click on confirm right here. So it's really helpful that it's going to be linked on your phone. After that one, you're going to see the response right here. And basically, once you're good with that, you can click on next step right here under user initiated conversations. Now, what is this? So basically, when your customer message you first outside an existing conversation window, you can reply without having to use templates, just like a normal reply. This user initiated conversations last for 24 hours from when the customer sends the first message. So does this simply reply to WhatsApp notification you just received? On your device to start a 24 hour conversation window all right so waiting for your message right now again to test this one simply reply to whatsapp notification you just receive on your device to start 24 hour conversation window give it a second to load up now as you can see right here i said start right there and this is the to and from you can edit your body here you can send your reply and wrap it up if I send my reply right here, it will go straight directly to my WhatsApp integrated application. Moreover, I can now click on next step and wrap it up. So congratulations on finishing WhatsApp sandbox. So what's next? You can register your own WhatsApp sender here, create and submit your own WhatsApp template, learn more about how Twilo WhatsApp API works. So moreover, for this one, you can continue building. You can explore some more without just limiting yourself to WhatsApp. If I click on continue building right there, it will bring me back to the ones I've given earlier. As you can see right here, it has a trial option, configure, continue building, the one we did earlier. Now double checking this one because I tried resetting earlier. If I still have the messaging feature right there, and there we have it. We still have them right there, going strong and good. Now you can also exit trailer org mode for this one and some additional tips for you. Please do not lose this phone number. However, you can still regenerate it for a different one, but that's another way for another video to talk about. Lastly, APK keys should be going to be this one right here. Let me just wait for it to load up. And there we have it. So guys, you're going to see some API keys here you can create. However, if you create an APK key here, it will only be usable for one instances. You need to generate a new one. And the location depends on your API key. So please make sure you set your notification and your settings and of course your location properly before generating an API key. Now focusing on the left side, we all have WhatsApp integrations right here. Starting from senders, settings, regular compliance, a templates, and so much more. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.